It's not just inside the arena. Turns out the crowds outside are thin too. Here's Juliana Golden. The few blocks around the security perimeter feel like a typical convention. Hats, buttons, and shirts. Vendors selling swag, restaurants crowded with delegates, media, and Republican officials. We got a queso fundido. But across the rest of this town, it's a different story. Several blocks away, employees at newly opened Coastal Taco say the supposed RNC economic boon has been a bust. We've sent people home, um, you know, take the night off. Managing partner Aaron Clyde says they staffed up and extended hours, apparently unnecessarily. What were the expectations? Hi, I mean, it's going to be great. You know, it's going to be this huge windfall. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been. In fact, it's been a little bit of a ghost town. Heightened security concerns and Donald Trump's controversial candidacy turned away millions of dollars in corporate sponsorship. That meant fewer parties with rented out restaurants, less cash for businesses and employees. But a big windfall was never in the cards, according to Cleveland Host Committee CEO David Gilbert. This is not going to plan everybody's retirement. He says the committee expects between 200 to 250 million dollars in direct spending. We would love for everybody to have a banner week during the convention, um, but it's nothing that we have the ability to control. Back at Coastal Taco, Clyde says he wasn't expecting the town to celebrate Trump the way it did LeBron and the Cavs at last month's NBA championship parade. We thought it might be like a Cavs playoff game with maybe more media coming in, but doesn't have that same feel. Some downtown businesses decided to close because of security concerns, but with Cleveland relatively calm, a number have reopened. Scott, one of the realities of modern conventions is that all of this security really does end up acting as a barrier to the community at large. Juliana Goldman, thanks.